So, clutch change. I'm not actually doing a full clutch change. This is, um, I just did the clutch change and I've got something wrong and it's, it's dragging, which means that it's difficult to put into neutral um, and change, change some of the gears. So I'm guessing that what I've done is somehow put the plates in wrong, but I'm going back in to find out. Uh, so this isn't, strictly speaking, a full clutch change. It's just a... partial clutch change. It's quite late in the day to be starting a job like this, so I'm hoping that I get it all done, otherwise I'm cycling to work tomorrow. <laughs> So the crankcase cover bolts, you've got three different ones. You've got um, you've got the short ones, the long ones, and then there's a couple of the shorter ones with the uh, with the locking washer on. The locking washer ones go on the uh, clutch bracket. The five short ones are the next five going clockwise, and the rest are the longer ones. It's important to remember that or note it down if you're doing this job yourself. Also, the, um, I mean, if you've ever changed your oil filter, you'll know this, but the bolts on the oil filter, the long one is the one that goes down the bottom here. Just little things you have to remember or note down or photograph when you're doing this sort of stuff. I mean, I did it yesterday, so I can remember. I'm also going to put in the, um, I only put three of the, so I put in the Hitchcock's heavy duty clutch plates. Um, and it came with six upgraded springs and I rode with that and it was absolutely fine so I'm going to, um, I rode with three of them and it was absolutely fine so I'm going to try putting all six in see if, see if uh, next time I go for a drive through town where you're using the clutch all the time I end up with forearms like a docker or whether it's alright thing worth doing is having separate little pots for each thing that you're doing. First bike that I ever worked on, I bought it from a motorbike shop, it's a GS550, £100 in bits. So I bought a box of GS550 um, with a Haynes manual and I didn't even have most tools back then, I was only young and uh, ended up building the whole thing. It took me three and a half months including restoring it a bit. Okay, oh, we need to take the clutch off. Right, so that's the clutch cable unhooked. Oh, as you see there, I've got a spare clutch cable ready for when that one goes. Um, just keep them running in line with the other ones. Okay, this is going to spill a little bit. Let's see if we can get it off. Just let that drip for a minute. There we go. This gasket is pretty reusable and it's very, I mean it just needs a bit of a clean up but it's fine, I reused it yesterday, just cleaned it up and put it back on. So we've got a little bear in there, which is all good. Right, just going to put it in gear. Oh, gets a bit irrelevant once you take the clutch off, of course, whether it's in gear or not. Right, right that's all of them loosened. I'm just going to take two out. Actually, no, I'm not. No, I'm not. I'm going to try and get that thing out in the middle first. Um, but it's a bit of a beast. I might have to do something a bit clever. Let's see what we can manage. We're going to lose the bike if we do that. Handily, I actually have six of these. They're all random and they're all different lengths and some of them are not very strong. And for some reason, this one won't fit in there. It's a bit knackered, actually. I don't know what that was out of. Probably a climbing frame or something. 
for my son when he was little. Right, it's come to the point where I'm going to have to make my own tool because I just can't get that thing undone. I must have done it up too tight yesterday. So, this is, uh, this is the plan. We'll have to see if it works. Right, tighten this down. don't know if it's going to work or not. <laughs> we'll find out. There should be plenty of leverage on it. I've got all the dust off it, so I'm not getting dust hopefully in the engine. Oh. Things we do, rather than just go and buy a tool. <laughs> I should have just bought a tool. I, just, I want to be able to ride this thing soon. I have to wait forever. Will it work? It works, I just haven't got enough strength. God, how tight did I do that thing up? <sighs> right, <sighs> that was a mammoth task. Anyway, I've got the tool now. <laughs> right, undo these one at a time. One, two, seven. Yeah, but this one's just going to come out. It's probably just going to explode in a minute. Springs everywhere. I don't know, it's actually it's feeling quite loose, so we might be right. springs out before they all fall out. Ah, well, it's out. <laughs> nothing, nothing damaged, we're good. I'm gonna have to find some longer bolts to put it back together though. What I should have done is, um, the first one that went in, I'll show you in a minute, the first one that went in should have been a friction plate and I put the first one as just one of the clutch plates. So I'm gonna get it apart. So there's the clutch and it's all looking correct except the first one that I put in was actually a clutch plate. Let me take them apart and show you. Ooh, that was a bad idea. Yeah, I had made the mistake that I thought I'd made. So the first one on this thing should be a friction plate and it's not it's a clutch plate look if I just show you that that's a clutch plate these are the friction plates with all the the pads on and I did it the wrong way around so I'm just gonna sort these out friction now I've put all these with the sharp sharper edge at the bottom clutch which if I've worked it all out right should be the outside of the bike not the inside of the, not the engine side the outdoor side and I did all that yesterday when I so as long as I keep them all the same way around we'll be fine we'll all be the same way around as one another you see how hot this thing's got at some point it's a bit, a bit burnt in places I tried to clean it up with a bit of wire wool but it didn't want to clean up and I thought well, it's, only, it's not going to make any difference whether it's black or not I don't think I don't know, comment below if you think differently. Right, I'm going to go back on Moto GB once I've put it together and double check. So it just is confusing. 
I'll, I'll put the picture up on the screen anyway for you to look at. Yeah. Need longer bolts. Right, see what we can find. Alright, a bit of hunting around and I've managed to find some bolts that are long enough because I've bent the other ones up, so just keep tightening this bit on each side. These these long ones are just there to hold the springs in place, they're not even really tightened in. Just to stop the springs slipping out while I'm tightening it. Get this tensioned all the way down. And pop it on. terrified about getting this wrong so I've just gone and double checked again and it's the friction plate is the one on the bike side and the um, clutch plate is the one on the outside and that's what I've got and everything's looking good so before the top friction plate I think I had them the wrong way around because the top friction plate was getting out above these lugs which wasn't ideal right there we go oh. Let's find that. There it is. <laughs> Washer. Phew. <laughs> Don't want that in there. Right, I don't time them anymore. I don't want them to strip. <sighs> Looking nice though. I don't know what it'd be like with all those big springs in. I'll find out when I put it back together and try the clutch. Mm -hmm. Right, as I said before, the five little ones. One, two, Three, four, five. Six. The five little ones are the first five after the bracket. None of these have any washers apart from the two locking washers on the ones on the clutch. Right, I think that's our oh, no, next one. That's all of them touch tight.
figure there's no point trying to do this with trail tools because frankly if a clutch goes on the trail you can probably hobble somewhere unless you're stuck down the bottom <laughs> down, down the bottom of uh, three showers or somewhere like I was but then I was able to find people to help me haul the thing out which is very kind of them I wish I could remember all their names which I can't now uh, Martha and Christian were the two that I remember and each of them were with another guy and uh, who I can't remember. Anyway, they were very kind. Very, very kind. Right, that's everything back together apart from I've just got to put this um, the brake on and the uh, clutch plate. So, not the clutch plate, this, this plate thing. Which is now covered in oil, like everything is around here. Probably the driveway is going to have oil. This, this thing doesn't always stop oil going through. Mm -hmm. 